Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do 10 actors that, or 10 celebrities, actors, that got fired from their jobs. Meaning everybody can lose their job. There's not exceptions. Number one is Nick Cannon. Y'all know Nick Cannon. Y'all know this guy. Right here, this fella over here. Everybody knows Nick Cannon. He's been fired from Viacom CBS for anti-Semitic comments. Now, do I agree with him? Well, hell no. But it was in his right to say what he said. As long as we still have freedom of speech, he was within his right to say what he said. Problem is, we're in a hurt my feelings kind of culture right now. Can't say anything, can't do anything. Everything hurts somebody's feelings just because they don't agree with it. With that being the case, you cannot say stuff anymore without there being a consequence and a repercussion behind it. He's learning that the hard way. Number two is Kevin Spacey. This one messed me up a little bit because I really like this guy as an actor. He's been fired from Netflix and his show House of Cards behind, let me get this right, over 10 allegations of unwanted sexual encounters. Now, after the accusers came forward, he did come out and announce that he was gay. There's more to this story. I feel like I'm missing some stuff. However, we ain't got time to check on that right now. You can read into it. Let me know what you find out. Number three is Janet Hubbard. You may not know her, or you may not know the name. You know the name. This is her. She was the aunt. She was Aunt Viv in Fresh Prince of Bel Air. The first two seasons, a little bit of three, first two. Her and Will Smith could not get along. Now, to my understanding, it was because she wanted the show to be about her, and it was actually centered on him. She still blames him for ruining her career today. Petty mess. You got a job to do. Take your butt to work. Do what you got to do. Earn your paycheck. That. Moving on. Number four is Charlie Sheen. Do I even have time for Charlie Sheen in this video? I don't. <clears throat> he was fired from Two and a Half Men for inflammatory comments. Say what? Inflammatory comments. This cat lost his whole mind talking about drinking uh, tiger blood and y'all fired him for inflammatory comments. Now, he was also let go for failing to complete his drug rehab program. <clears throat> but this mess right here, I liked the news around that better than the Two and a Half Men show itself. I was sitting down every time I seen Charlie Sheen on TV talking to a news reporter with a, ba a bag of popcorn just waiting for the next episode. I did quit watching Two and a Half Men when they brought Ashton Kutcher in because mm -mm, mm -mm, I am not a fan. I do not like that guy. I've never liked him. I've never liked him in anything he's done. That's just me, my preference, my opinion. Y'all ain't got to get all some kind of way. That's just how I feel about it. Number five is Christian Bale. I don't like him as an actor, but hear me, hear me through. He was originally picked for the uh, role in American Psycho. This, he got super sickly skinny for this. Um, but he was let go originally because Leonardo DiCaprio was their primary pick for this role and he was available. Something came up, the the role fell back into Christian Bale's lap. Dun dun dun. I went and took it. Now he is very well known. I would not have took this damn movie after you done passed me over because I was your second choice. Just my opinion. But he did it and it worked out. There you go. The next one's Megan Fox. She looks like she's difficult. Transformers Dark of the Moon is the movie that we're referencing that she was fired from at the moment. The reason she was let go is she compared her director, Michael Bay, 
to Hitler and said he was a nightmare to work for. Now, I don't know if anybody else has had this problem, but you can hate your boss all day long. I have this, I've had this problem. You can hate your boss all day long, but you go to work and you shut your face and do your job and go home. You ain't got to do all that. Like, I don't, it was his movie. Of course, he was going to fire you with you talking mad mess. It didn't kill the movies anyway. Like, movies were not centered around her, even a focal point of her, so it works out. But, whatever. The next one, Suzanne Summers. She was fired from their, uh, they terminated her contract from Three's Company back in the day. I liked Three's Company back then. Um, I'm not that old, but I watched it when I was younger on TV Land, I think is what, it, what the channel was called, whatever. Um, anyway, I did, I did watch the show, and uh, I liked it. And I liked her playing Chrissy. There's behind-the-scenes situations. She was terminated because she boycotted her network because she asked for a raise simply to make the same as what John Ritter was making at the time. Now, this is in the 70s. It, we still have somewhat this problem now, but men are always making more money than women. I firmly believe that's a, still a problem. But she wanted equal pay to him for doing equal work, which is only fair. They terminated her contract. That's stupid as hell. Moving on. Next one's Ryan Gosling. Look at this man. You see this dude? Who the hell would fire him? Mm -hmm. Y'all wrong for that. Apparently the director of the movie The Lovely Bones fired him. Gosling got the role. And all actors kind of pick into the character and make it their own when they get cast for something. He's seen the character that he was supposed to be playing as overweight. So he gained weight for the role. When it come time for filming, he had gained 60 pounds. The director said that that wasn't his idea, his image, or his perception for the film, so he recast him. This is why it's always important at your job, no matter what you do, to get clarification on what's expected of you and your job title and your job, like your role and your performance. Um, that way there's not a missed line there. Hey, I mean, he's still doing fine without that movie on his repertoire, but stupid, stupid that there wasn't that open communication there. The next one's Thomas Gibson. You might not know the name. I didn't know the name. I knew the face. There he is. I love, love Criminal Minds. Him leaving the show actually really hurt my feelings. I was very upset about it. I now I'm more mad about why it happened. He got an altercation with the writer slash producer over a line in the script that he didn't like that he asked him to change and the writer got all pissed off and and let him go. After 11 years, you let him go because y'all didn't agree on something? Say what? Stupid ass reason to have done it. However, I think the show ended up running for 13 seasons. It didn't last long once he was gone. I know that much. But it just goes to show, after 11 years, he was let go over nothing. That your loyalty and your consistency and your dependability means nothing to these companies and these people that are above you. The last one on this list is Leah Remini. Now, the show in particular that I'm talking about that she was let go from was The Talk. The TV show, that, I mean, like the little talk show, The Talk. Bunch of crows. Anyway, she blamed Sharon Osbourne, her co-host at the time, for her, her being let go. But, as time went on, she eventually stated that she just didn't fit in with that cast, with, or with that group of women, that, that crew of people. 
Um, it was an environment where you're expected to keep your mouth shut and do what you're told to do and uh, go check Netflix out. You'll see why she's not the one to expect that from. I feel like there's more to why she was terminated, but that's for another time. Um, that's it for this list. I do want to tell you guys, I, I have my TikTok up, I have my Instagram up, my Twitter, my Facebook, and I have a logo for some designs for uh, mer my merchandise store that I will be opening. I will I will link it, of course, when I get when it when I get it going. But um, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, if you haven't checked my other platforms out, they'll be linked down in the description, and they'll be over there on my about uh, about me section on my YouTube channel itself. Um, I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys, and um, I'll see you in the next video.